This is Mark Lazell and you're watching Sport and Acons. Now when people look back on the archives of history with boxing, people will speak about the greats such as Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Robinson, Jack Johnson, Rocky Marciano, Sugar Ray Leonard, and the list goes on and on and on. Now, unfortunately for most of us, we weren't around to see these guys fight. Okay, we weren't around to see a vintage Muhammad Ali. Most of us certainly weren't around when Rocky Marciano was at his peak. But when you look at, say, today's era, Manny Pacquiao is a standout, is he not? So in 20, 30, 40, 50 years time, when people look back at and say Muhammad Ali, and of course they will always say Muhammad Ali and Jack Johnson and Joe Fraser and all these kind of guys, they will speak about Manny Pacquiao. We are in that era where we can say we saw Manny Pacquiao fight live. We saw him fight multiple times. A living legend. We know that he is a first ballot Hall of Famer. And it looks like Colonel Alvarez is going to be of the same kind of ilk. Now, when it comes to Manny Pacquiao, okay, so he's 42 years old. And yes, he did take on Jordanis Ugas last minute. Was it 10 days, two weeks notice? Something like that after Aerospace Jr. pulled out with an eye injury. Now, for those of you who watched the fight, I think most people will probably look at that fight and say, Ugas won. Now, I personally feel that Ugas did win eight rounds to four, maybe seven to five if you want to be a little bit generous. Now, I wanted Manny Pacquiao to win the fight because obviously I have a lot of nostalgia with him. In fact, the only time that I ever didn't want Manny Pacquiao to win was when he took on Ricky Hatton. Ricky Hatton was my guy. Unfortunately, Manny Pacquiao beat him up and destroyed him. Okay, but Manny Pacquiao is a legend and he's done nothing to be ashamed of. Yes, he's 42 years old, but... For me, I don't think it was the fact that he's 42 years old. 42 years old in today's era is like 30, mid-30s now. Okay, that's kind of how it is. But the inactivity of two years, I think that played a part. And I think that he's got a lot of miles on the clock. That also played a part. Now, as far as conspiracy theories goes, where some people say that maybe Pacquiao got robbed. No, I don't think he got robbed. But not, um, or at least not on the scorecards. It's possible that he got done because Ugas has been preparing for Pacquiao for the past few weeks. We know that he's had Southpaw sparring in. We know that. So did Ugas know that he was always going to be fighting Pacquiao next? Maybe the whole Errol Spence thing was just a ruse and the PBC knew that Pacquiao was going to be taking on Udinus Ugas. But at the same time, we do have to say that Pacquiao, he agreed to take on Ugas. It's not like he was forced to do it and he had no choice. He did have a choice. He could have said no. He could have said no. Now, as far as the WBA is concerned, I mean, again, it's just another reference to some of the shenanigans that the WBA will put on where they stripped Manny Pacquiao because he was inactive for, what was it, 18 months, even though 12, 14 months of that was due to the pandemic. He couldn't do anything anyway. But they stripped him, gave the belt to Ugas, and Ugas's first defense was against Manny Pacquiao. That shows you pretty much the WBA all over. Now, as far as the fight is concerned, Manny Pacquiao, he didn't look like the old Manny Pacquiao. As I said, I think that was down to a combination of different things. It could have been the age, it could have been, but for me, it's the inactivity and the fact that he was preparing for a Southpaw fighter in Errol Spence Jr. That's what he was preparing for, but that's not what he got. That's what I think it was a combination of. But Pacquiao, he didn't, get bounced around the canvas, he didn't get knocked out, and his legacy is not tarnished. People will not look back on the Manny Pacquiao era and remember this fight. They won't. They will look back and look at the Cotto fight and many, many others, Ricky Hatton, as I've already mentioned. This fight will not really be remembered. And that's probably unfortunate for Ugas. But at the same time, Pacquiao, he didn't shame himself, did he? He really didn't. He was one of these guys who... He tried everything that he could. He tried his best, but his feet were his footwork wasn't as sharp as it once was. His timing wasn't as on point as it would normally be. Now, if this was Manny Pacquiao three, even four years ago, he would have probably destroyed Ugas. 
Honestly, he would have absolutely run, run rings around him. And same with Errol Spence Jr. He would have run rings around Errol Spence Jr. back then. But, pa Ma but Manny Pacquiao, after two years layoff, what else could, could anybody really expect? As much as I wanted Manny Pacquiao to win, I have to humbly say he didn't. Ugas definitely won this fight as they eight rounds to four. At a real push, seven rounds to five. And the crowd, we have to pay real respect to the crowd who's in attendance watching this fight with the way that they applauded Manny Pacquiao. Now, is this Manny Pacquiao's last fight? You would probably have to say yes. Should he have even taken this fight? You, you should probably have to say no. Maybe he shouldn't have done. But he did. And he put on a gallant performance. But what won it for Ugas was what a lot of people predicted is what Ugas needed to do. Use a jab. He's got the height. He's got the reach. Stay out of range. And that's pretty much what he'd done. And Pacquiao, as much as he was jumping in and out like he would normally do at times, wasn't too effective. He'd done very well. Of course he'd done very well. But he wasn't as effective as what he would normally do. Ugas played the smart game. At no point was Manny Pacquiao in any real kind of trouble. Which you could probably argue that maybe given his age... Given his inactivity, given his miles on the clock after being an eight-weight eight world champion and the fact that he's been knocked out in that before, you could probably look at it and say, well, maybe you guys should have knocked him out. That's one way of looking at it. But either way, we have to give a congratulations to Ugas. He took the fight. Short notice for him, arguably. Arguably not. Maybe he always knew that he was going to be fighting Spence and this, is, and this was just a PVC way of getting Spence versus Ugas on a pay-per-view, because let's be honest, Spence versus Ugas before this fight was definitely not pay-per-view worthy. But now it possibly could be because Ugas has the name Manny Pacquiao on his resume. Errol Spence Jr. does not. Okay, so anyway, that's my thoughts on it all. Congratulations to Ugas. I think Manny Pacquiao does need to retire now. Um, arguably, he should have retired a while ago. And But there again, he's done what... Maybe the likes of Floyd Mayweather couldn't do. Whereas he, he didn't take on Adrian Broner. He didn't take on Keith Thurman. He didn't take on and try and sign up to fight for Errol Spence Jr. It's not Manny Pacquiao's fault that it wasn't Errol Spence Jr. in the ring last night. Who knows? Maybe we would have seen um, Manny Pacquiao perform better because he'd been preparing for Errol Spence Jr. Maybe he'd have beat Errol Spence Jr. Maybe Errol Spence Jr. is a shot fighter now. Who knows? Who knows? Time will tell on that one. But anyway, congratulations to Jordanes Ugas. Now he is officially the WBA welterweight world champion. Super version, of course. So even though that's a, he was awarded the belt and he shouldn't have been, but even though he was, now he's legitimately the world champion. So congratulations to him. Uh, commiserations to Manny Pacquiao. Um, hopefully he goes on and becomes the president of uh, the Philippines and whatever else, whatever his ambitions may be. But living legend... We were part of his era. This was the Manny Pacquiao era. It wasn't the Floyd Mayweather era. It was a Manny Pacquiao one. Let's be honest about it. Anyway, drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you on the next video.